Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the Sunday evening of live painting. Hi, this is me, Daniel J. Hogan. Uh, if you don't know enough about me, you can go to danieljhogan.com and if you like all my drawings and videos like this and want to help contribute in some way, check out patreon.com slash danieljhogan and maybe pitch in a buck or so every month. Uh, you get rewards starting at a dollar a month, and they go up from there. At the five, ten, and twenty dollar a month levels, you get a drawing from me every month. So yeah, check that out if you want. So I'm painting tonight. I'm painting my uh, Inktober cartoon for today, which is this. So um, what I've been doing this month is uh, mash up cartoons. So I take two words and kind of combine them to come up with an idea for drawing. So today's mashup was cactus and wig and so I just drew a little funny cartoon of a guy wearing a cactus wig so nothing too elaborate today but uh, to quickly kind of go over what I'm using I'm using a Pentel aqua or I'm uh, sorry Pentel aquash water brushes aquash is a weird word it doesn't really roll off the tongue that easily but um, so you just fill these things with water and uh, you can basically paint on the go. You squeeze them to get water out and to fill up the, the brush there. It's a nylon brush, so it's kind of, I can kind of see the water on my finger there. So they're kind of always wet. They're super handy for painting on the go. I have three sizes, small, medium, and then large. And then this one is actually a large one as well, but it's uh, filled with uh, up to here with water and then a few drops of black ink, so it becomes an ink wash pen. And I'll probably use that to add some shading and whatnot toward the end of the drawing. For paints, I'm using uh, this, my Koi uh, Sakura Field watercolor kit. It's a 12 color kit. Which is also great for on the go because you can see like it's you know for example like here's a gift card I just happen to have laying around, um, you know it's not much bigger than that so it definitely fits in my pocket, and like I said it's twelve colors, and you got your palettes up here, and your different colors and you got a sponge to clean your brush and this is the brush it comes with I don't really use that brush because I like the Pentel's more, and then for backup colors. I don't always feel like mixing colors. I have this 36 set of colors that I got for, you know, pretty cheap at like Michael's or something. It does the trick. Um, these ones are definitely better paints by a long stretch, but uh, the 36 pack is, you know, good enough for, for what I do. Um, hang on, I just got a couple pencil lines to clean up here. All right. So let's get started here. So just gotta mentally kind of quickly figure out what colors I'm gonna do and what ones I want to do first. And try not to cast all kinds of shadows all over everything. Go ahead and paint the cactus first. That's the biggest chunk here. I'm just doing a light green right now to start. May go over some parts with a dark green. Because with watercolor, you can, I mean, like any paint, I guess, but especially with watercolor, you can, you know, layer your colors and you want to start and go light to dark. So and if I wanted to, well that's still wet, I could even 
this is the fun of watercolor. I could just do something like like that, just to kind of mix it in a bit. While well, it's still wet, just to give it more of a weird kind of flowy look. I try and not paint in any of these thorns with the green, but we'll see how that goes. I may just leave the thorn the thorns actually unpainted. Since you know they're white in real life, so I don't necessarily have to paint them. Thank you, Stephanie. If you can't stick around and watch the whole video, don't worry, this will be up on uh, the Clattertron Facebook page probably tonight after I'm done with this, and then it'll be up on danieljhogan.com probably Tuesday. Thanks, Matt. Oops. It's all right. Got a little too much there, but that's okay. It looks kind of weird, and that's that's okay. I don't normally blend colors uh, immediately like that, although I should, I guess, because it works better that way, but usually I'll layer stuff after I'm done with it, but that's fine. I kind of like how this looks, and I think it's good for... what I'm doing anyway. So what I'm using is just using this green and this green. That's it. Watercolor definitely has a life of its own if you're not used to using it. It can get away from you, but that's one of the things I like about it. Okay, so my cactus is pretty much good. I'll let that dry, maybe do some dark spots again. I'll, I'll do a few real quick here. Well, it's still wet. I think I'll leave that cactus alone for now. I 
paint our, our dude here. So to clean these brushes between colors, all I do is kind of give it me a squeeze and just wipe it on a paper towel till it runs clear. Pretty easy. Oops. Got a little green in his ear. We don't want that. Oops. Okay. So for his hair, I'm actually going to use my ink wash pen. 
instead of just painting it because I think a gray color is fine anyway for this so. no the thing is I got to be careful with that because that's just diluted ink it's not paint so it's got little different properties so it's not watercolor paint it doesn't exactly act the same way it's similar but it is different I gotta be careful and remember that okay that's good for that all right tiny brush out to paint these tears in. It's probably too much paint on there. Let's add a little bit of red here. Stop it. Okay, that's uh, that's it. 
just gotta let that ink dry. So you can see what I mean about that ink just being its own kind of creature there, how it's kind of a little more wet. Kind of got away from me a little bit over here, but that's okay. Not a big deal. And yeah, I'm not gonna paint the spikes because I don't really see the point in painting them all. And yeah, I'm all set. So thanks for sticking around and watching tonight. Um, keep your eyes peeled on DanJHogan.com for more videos. I have some other ones up there already. You can go back and check out. And if you like the stuff I'm doing, please consider please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash DanJHogan. And I would appreciate that. And thank you, Matt, for watching and for the nice comments. And I'll see everyone later. Bye.